everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and thanks so much for returning to my channel for what I think is a very exciting video on how to achieve the quiet luxury look. And if you followed my channel, you know I can be kind of wowie zowie and out there in terms of my style. And at the end of all the wonderful outfits I'm going to show you, I'm going to do one last outfit and kind of Beth it up a little bit because quiet luxury is something that I would aspire to, but it is a little more difficult for me to be restrained in that way. And I have to say, if you've gone to TikTok or Instagram or Pinterest, quiet luxury is everywhere. And basically quiet luxury is pretty simple. Quiet luxury is classic clothes that stand the test of time, no trends, and it is also choosing the best quality item we can in each of our clothing items. It's exercising some restraint and not having a ton of Amazon boxes of clothing coming onto your front porch all the time. Although there is something to be said for that, most of that is not really quiet luxury. And I can't think of a better brand to partner with me in this video than Lily Silk. And I am so happy about that. And they did send me this top and several other items but I have to admit last year I went through kind of a lily silk addiction phase and I purchased some other items on my own because once you buy something from lily silk, you want more. And there is no doubt about that. Lily Silk is a wonderful brand which specializes in providing high quality silks and cashmere in all sorts of different clothing items from button down shirts, which I have over there and I'll be showing you in just a few moments, to sleeveless tops, pants, and even skirts. Apparently, almost every clothing item we own can be made in silk and or cashmere and those are natural fibers which are absolutely wonderful. Now, here's a look at the Lily Silk website. And if you want to really understand quiet luxury and what it is, just go visit their site. Every page is filled with quiet luxury items of the highest quality. Clothing items made of wonderful mulberry silk and cashmere. This is from their website. We encourage customers to buy smarter by investing in better pieces that can be styled into diverse looks and therefore worn more frequently. And that is exactly what quiet luxury is about. It is buying classic clothes that will stand the test of time and, and buying quality items in each piece. Maybe it's buying fewer items than we have in the past and that takes a little discipline. But I have noticed that quite a few of my other fast fashion shirts and other items, you know, they come and then three months later, they're kind of like at the back of my closet, I don't wear them. These Lily Silk items I wear and wear and wear, which is a great investment in terms of cost per wear. And it is the best way to look elegant and put together in as much of your life as you want to. Also, Lily Silk cares about the environment and they have a zero inventory policy, which I'd never heard about before. But instead of having a huge warehouse filled with boxes and boxes of clothes ready to be sent out, that wastes a lot. Actually, when you order a Lily Silk item, they custom make it in the first 48 hours and then they ship it out very fast shipping, two to three day shipping. So you get your items that you order within the week and you also have the assurance that Lily Silk is adhering to the highest standards in terms of protecting our environment, which is getting more and more important. Okay, in just a few minutes, I'll get down to showing you some outfits with that quiet luxury feel. But first, let's look at a few tips on what quiet luxury actually is. And if you've watched Succession, you have seen quality luxury in action with Logan Roy and his children, Shiv, Logan, Kendall, and Connor. You've seen each of them in various scenes performing a variety of activities, but in every scene, they exude the quiet luxury look. Each of them wears truly classic clothing items of the highest quality, but there's not a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton logo in sight. Everything they wear is high quality and understated, kind of a stealth wealth kind of look. And what that means is they are so wealthy that they aren't like you and me who we, you know, we get one Gucci purse in our life and we want to flash it around with every outfit. Stealth wealth means they have so much money that they don't have anything to prove to anyone. They are self-confident and self-assured without the need for all those logos. And let me give you an example of quiet luxury from my own closet. And I'm going to pull three items out and you tell me in the comment section if you think they're quiet luxury. Okay, here's the first one. <laughs> Not only is it a Louis Vuitton purse, but I've also had to put some Louis Vuitton jewelry on it and a little uh, rabbit fur thing for some reason. So this is part of your exam. And then I also pulled out these three Gucci belts from my closet. This is the most basic one. And these are a little more overstated, shall we say. And I will tell you the purse is real, but the belts are not. 
Do you think these items are quiet luxury? Let me know in the comments section. Okay, now for the second part of the question, was that quiet luxury or is something like this quiet luxury, just a kind of understated leather purse with nice hardware? These are also belts that I've been wearing and I'm kind of proud of myself lately because I don't really go to the Gucci purses very much anymore. Even before I understood the concept of quiet luxury, I really like just basic good leather purses that say quality, but don't advertise how much they cost. Do you think something like this is quiet luxury or the Gucci stuff? Now, even though the term quiet luxury is relatively new, it's really something that's been around for a long time. It's buying basic wardrobe items at the highest quality we can afford, and that's really where Lily Silk comes in. Although all of their silk and cashmere items have so much quality, they don't cost like $500 to $1,000 per blouse, which amazingly enough are some of the prices you will see at the highest end stores. And for me, I will never spend $500 on a blouse, but I will spend $90 to $100, especially if it's on sale. And this happens to be Lily Silk's anniversary sale. So the prices over there are very good, but follow my link below the video if you want an additional 12% off those sale prices. I think my discount code is beautybeth12 for 12% off. Okay, the first outfit features this gorgeous silk Georgette top. And this is a new release for the summer of 2023. And it is one of my favorite styles ever, which is the halter top. And basically it has a long sash in the back that you can tie as a bow in the back, or you can wrap it around again and put it in the front. And this silk halter also comes in black or red. And I am so tempted to buy it in the black because I do wear a lot of black and they always say everything looks richer in the black, but I think this ivory color is absolutely gorgeous. And I have it paired with kind of beigey trousers and then these little sling back shoes. And these are wonderful. I really love them. They're a simple classic design, but these truly fit the idea of quiet luxury. Your mother could have worn these years ago and they still look great up to this day. And another tip about the quiet luxury look in general is, and, and do watch for this with the other outfits, but they don't use bright wowie zowie colors. You're not going to see lime green or neon orange or anything like that. You're not going to look like a school bus in your quiet luxury items. All quiet luxury items are generally very neutral. They use basic colors like white, cream, black, gray, a little bit of brown, tan, those sorts of colors. And if they're going to use a brighter color, it is usually muted. Like if it's a blue, they'll use a soft blue. So keep that in mind if you want to add a richer look to your wardrobe overall. And that is the idea that something about neutrals just spell class. Now, I am absolutely in love with this next Lily Silk shirt. And again, this is a special summer release and I think it is fabulous. Number one, any look involving the wealthy usually involves a lot of stripes. They don't usually wear a lot of prints, but they always wear stripes. Look at this gorgeous blouse. It has the perfect little collar. It has very neutral buttons, which I really appreciate. I'm glad they didn't go in with something wowie zowie like gold. It's very understated. And then look at this. They have a tiny Lily Silk logo right there. And the thing I like about that is it is quiet luxury right there. You know, they didn't like put a big Lily Silk logo right here, which I have to say the old non-luxury Beth would have thought that was pretty cool, but I think it's even neater that they include their classy logo, but they include it in a very quiet luxury sort of way. Love this shirt. And I have it paired just with some black straight leg pants. And then on my feet, I have pumps. Pumps again, about like what your mother would wear. I did consider wearing stilettos with this outfit, but when I put them on, they just looked wrong. They didn't look as elegant as that wonderful blouse. And I realized that stilettos in general are a bit over the top for that quiet luxury look, unless maybe you're wearing it out for an evening. That might be the exception. So I decided to use these more conservative pumps they have the chunky black heels, but again, they are pumps and not stilettos, which I think has a much more quiet luxury feel. Okay, this next quiet luxury outfit involves this gorgeous Lily Silk concealed placket shirt. And I actually happen to own this one. In fact, I am in insurance and last year I did a lot of enrollment meetings and I pulled this shirt out of the closet numerous times because it looks great with just about everything, including jeans, which is wonderful. But look at the shimmer of that mulberry silk. It is absolutely radiant. And I really like the fact that this is a concealed placket here because it just again gives that more understated look. And it has that simple cuff there with just two little buttons, absolutely gorgeous. 
And then on my waist, I've actually added an animal print belt. And you might not think that animal print is quiet luxury, but it really is. Animal print is a classic when used in moderation. Like you would not use this belt and then add some leopard pumps or something like that. Just a little bit of animal print is quiet luxury. And I think it does pump up the look of this outfit just a bit. And let me know in the comments section if you think any kind of leopard like this, a little leopard accent, still adheres to the quiet luxury philosophy. Okay, in the next outfit, I again have this concealed placket shirt on, but I've combined it with black trousers. And trousers, again, are a very quiet luxury look, and the black trousers go beautifully with this. And then on my feet, I have these Vivaya pumps, and look at that, they're very, very good quality, and they're super comfortable, which I absolutely love. And I have to admit that up until these shoes, this set of shoes here, I was not a flat wearing type of person. I always felt like, oh, you know, I could wear flats, but that's kind of boring. I'd rather have, you know, at least a two inch heel, maybe a little bit more. But I have to say that part of quiet luxury is looking like you're not trying too hard and also being comfortable because it isn't quiet luxury to hobble around at the end of the evening because you wore the wrong shoes. But these are very comfortable shoes and a simple shoe style like these flats really lend themselves to the quiet luxury look. Okay, this next shirt, I have to admit I purchased on my own and I did tell you earlier that the quiet luxury look doesn't really include a lot of prints, but I think this is the one exception. And Lily Silk just nailed this shirt. This actually has a very Ralph Lauren type of a look. And Ralph Lauren is amazing in that through all the years he's been a designer, maybe 30 years, he started out quiet luxury and he never let the wowie zowie trends deter him. He always stuck with the quiet luxury and this shirt is a wonderful example of that. And Lily Silk has done this of course in 100% mulberry silk and it even has the little Lily Silk logos on there, which I think that's a really, really classy looking logo. Something about this shirt just says polo set to me. And in this outfit, I have it paired with some black pants, black trousers. And then as a belt, I have a little Ralph Lauren reversible belt here and I'm wearing it to the black side. And the neat thing about this shirt is you can make it as formal or as informal as you want. One of my favorite ways to wear it is just with jeans and some black ankle boots. Now on my feet, I have something that's a little bit Bethy. It's a little bit controversial. And you tell me in the comment section if you think quiet luxury can get away with something like this. I personally think it can. These are fabric mules. Look at that. They have fabric on the pointy toes and then they kind of have it tied right here. The same fabric is tied. And I really do think mules are quiet luxury because they started having mules, I think back in the 30s. So they really are a classic sort of a shoe. Let me know in the comments section if you agree with me or if you think I pushed it a bit far. Now, this next outfit features a gorgeous 100% cashmere sweater from Lily Silk. And oh my, it is soft as a bunny. And look at that beautiful cable knit design there. And it is on the front and the back because Lily Silk does not scrimp on quality. That's something some cashmere sweater makers do is the front is gorgeous and the back is plain. But as you can see there, the back is really pretty. And I have it combined with my favorite Uniqlo tee because I think number one, that just gives you a nice accent around your face. But more importantly, it protects this luxurious sweater because this is cashmere and it is very durable. You'll have this sweater for years, but to do that, I think it's important to always protect your sweaters by wearing a layer underneath. And I think that tee peeking out is just perfect. And then on the bottom, I have these Levi's 724 high rise straight jeans. These are some of my favorite jeans. I buy them on Amazon. They're very, very reasonable in price. And you may wonder if jeans are quiet luxury, but of course they are. Everyone in this society wears jeans. It's not like you're going to see, you know, rich people wandering around in jodhpurs. They are wearing jeans. But the thing that makes these fit the quiet luxury feel is they're not baggies. They're not huge wide leg flares, something like that. They are straight leg classic jeans. These are the type of jeans that you would have seen years ago and that makes them a classic. And then on my feet, I finish off the outfit again with these gorgeous tan Vivaya pumps. And I think they go with that sweater just beautifully. Now you couldn't have a video on quiet luxury without including a blazer and most particularly a navy blue classic blazer. And I have loved blazers pretty much all of my life. I still remember the movie Pretty Woman and how at the very end when Richard Gere is driving up to save her from her fate, 
She has a gorgeous blue blazer on with a white tee and she exudes quiet luxury there. Truly love this navy blazer look and really you can get away with any neutral colored blazer to complete that sort of a look. And then on my feet, I again have these wonderful tan flats. And that's kind of a new look for me because mostly in the past, I would have at least worn a small heel. And now I am really liking these because not only are they comfortable, they don't look like I'm trying too hard, which is the point of quiet luxury. Okay, we're going to go back and revisit stripes in our quiet luxury look. And this is the spun silk striped sweater. And look at the gorgeous little buttons there. And again, it's nice that they're not gold. That little touch of white just blends in. You almost wouldn't see it unless you were really looking closely, but it just gives some minimal amount of emphasis, which I think is definitely quiet luxury. And I have to admit, I have never owned a sweater in silk before. You should feel this. It is so, so soft and so smooth. It's very, very smooth. And I think it looks absolutely wonderful with those classic Levi 724 jeans. And on my feet, I again have these classic black mules, really, really pretty. And here is the point in the video where I get a little bit Beth. And you tell me in the comment section if you think I can get away with this. Here is that same classic outfit, but I've added the red mules. And this is so me because I am Miss Bling. I am the more girl. But you tell me in the comment section if you think this can still look like quiet luxury. And the reason I think that it can is because you have that classic stripe on the top. And even though that's a black and white stripe, it almost has the feel of a white and navy stripe. And to me, the red just kind of goes navy, you know, red, white, and blue, that kind of thing. And let me know in the comments section if you think I can get away with adding this pop of red to that quiet luxury outfit. Okay, I'm going to finish up this video just with some general tips about quiet luxury. I mostly wanted to show you those gorgeous clothes, but there are some general guidelines to quiet luxury. The first tip is to, whenever possible, wear natural fibers instead of man-made fibers like polyester or something like that. And certainly when you shop Lily Silk, you'll never see a polyester silkworm wandering around. They don't exist. Go toward natural fibers like silk, cotton, wool, mohair, and cashmere. And finally, have minimal or no branding on your items. And here's another tip on makeup. If you want to follow the quiet luxury feel, then go with natural makeup. No loud, crazy makeup colors, certainly no false lashes. And these are my real lashes. And for those of you who followed my channel, you know that I recently experimented with lash extensions and they were not quiet luxury. They were horrible, absolutely horrible. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You, you gotta try those things. But your makeup should be nice and natural with very neutral type colors. Also, good grooming is a very important part of this look. None of those outfits look messy. You can't just roll out of bed in the morning, not do your hair, put on no makeup, run out the door and expect to look quietly luxurious because a central feature of this whole look is neatness and good grooming. And one of those good grooming items applies to your fingers and toes. Always get regular manicures and pedicures. And actually I'm a terrible example of that. I'm going in this afternoon, but look, I have some nails there, but I have no nails there. Not good, but as of tomorrow, I will look much better. And in terms of your nail style, while they may look pretty, get rid of the glitters, get rid of the ombre, get rid of the coffin nails, get rid of the purples, greens, and blues, and stick to something like a French manicure, or if you're going to use regular polish, make sure it's clear, neutral, or even classic red. Okay, another good grooming tip for quiet luxury is that wrinkles are totally out. If you wore it yesterday and threw it in the floor of your closet, you can't pick it up and shake it out. You're going to have to go iron it or use your steamer because the quiet luxury look implies that you have the money or the extra staff to take extra care of your clothing. I'm just really kidding about that extra staff, but some of those really wealthy people probably do have people to take care of that. And my last tip involves jewelry. With the quiet luxury look, it is not the time for huge hoops or huge statement necklaces. It is really more time for delicate, more dainty jewelry in silver and or gold. And it is usually not multiple bracelets, it's usually just one. So in terms of your jewelry, keep it simple and delicate. Well, thank you everyone for being here with me to take a look at some quiet luxury and special thanks go out to Lily Silk for providing these gorgeous clothes. I am so impressed with them and they exude quiet luxury. And again, I think all of us would be well served to buy fewer items, but of higher quality on each item. And now is absolutely a great time to do that at the Lily Silk Anniversary Sale. And remember to use the discount code BEAUTYBETH12 
for an additional 12% even off sale prices. Well, I've enjoyed being here with you to share this. If you like this sort of video, please list that in the comment section because it's your vote for more similar types of videos. And until I see you next time, I hope you'll make your days just wonderful. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.